Hello guys and very welcome to my channel! Here I have a battery module from a Volkswagen ID3 2021 <clears throat> and today I am going to do a little test on it because I have read on the internet that there should be 12 small fuses inside of this battery one for each cell and that little fuse should be rated to 175 milliamps so it's a very tiny fuse inside of it and the problem is that the more top-end BMSs out there uses 200 milliamps when they start to balance the battery. And if you pull 200 milliamps through a 175 milliamp fuse, you probably can guess what will happen. And you cannot open this battery module up and repair or change that little fuse, so you will be left there with a module that are completely destroyed. You can never use it because you can never measure the voltage to that cell inside of it. Okay, you can calculate it if you take the individual cell voltages there. You have 11 cells that you can measure. You have the total voltage and then you can of course calculate that voltage of that cell inside of it. But even if you use this as a standalone battery with 44.4 volts on it together with a Victron uh, inverter for example, you need all the cells into your BMS. If you just have 11 cells, you cannot use it, right? So today I am going to pull 100 amps, 100 milliamps to start with from cell number one. Then I'm going to raise that up to 200 milliamps and see if I will and see if I blow the fuse there. So I will pull that load for uh, uh, one minute and if it holds up for uh, 200 milliamps I maybe raise that up to 300 milliamps. I don't know yet but uh, if it can uh, handle 300 milliamps in one minute uh, you will be just fine to use it together with a BMS that uh, pulls 200 milliamps when it does its balancing there. So. All right, guys, let's start this test up and uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, we are ready to start this test and uh, I will start with the 50 milliamps and uh, it should not be any problem at all. So let's do this, here we go. And it pulls 55, 56 milliamps without any problem, so that seems to be just fine. So let's raise that up to 100 milliamps. So here we go, 100 milliamps. And it handles that as perfect. And as I said before, this, uh, I don't know if I said that, maybe I just thought about it, but this BMS has nothing to do with this test. I only use this balance lead that are hooked up together with everything so uh, that's why this is here but as you can see 100 milliamps don't seems to be any problem and it should not be that either so uh, I think I'm going to raise it up this up to uh, 
200 milliamps. Sadly, I cannot do this in smaller steps now. So the next step is 200 milliamps. So let's do that. I am now going to pull this for around one minute. Two hundred milliamps, one minute, no problem. Great. The question is now, am I going to try this? with 300 milliamps well I do this for you guys here we go guys Seconds. I am actually a little nervous. Thirty seconds. Five seconds. And there we have one minute, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I have to say that this test was a big success for me and also for you guys who had the same kind of question. So I really hope that I have helped some of you guys out there as I have helped myself here. So it's a little easier to know which kind of BMS we are going to use together with this module. Know when we know that we at least can pull 200 milliamps from it without any problem. And just to make this clear, this test is made to a 12S module. I don't know if the 8S Volkswagen modules have the same kind of fuse inside of it. That's important to know. It's only for the 12S module that I have done this test with. So 12S module, nothing else. Alright, that will be everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if it helped you out or if you want to see more of me, please hit the subscribe button down below. There it really helped this channel out. And then I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.